Hey, it's Mother's Day. Here's my sister, Ann. This is uh, front of the house. We're gonna do a little walk around here. <laughs> but we're gonna start and go this way. Got the laundry out today. I'd say it's probably 70 degrees. Little tiny breeze. That's a pecan tree. I should probably trim that up just a little bit more. That's the only tree I haven't messed with too much. Hooked up a sewer system with a flush toilet for the uh, for the camper. We used to have the black holding tank and uh, put in a flush toilet. So now the, the gray water is going down to the septic and the toilet's going into the septic. That's just a vent pipe. Let's walk down this way here. The property line is just on the other side of the clothesline. Probably see some stakes over here somewhere. There's see that little white pipe. And then there's a stake over there. But uh, the grass, we're gonna cut that soon. Probably tomorrow. So there's the property line. Kind of goes straight down here. That shed is right on the line. So there's a couple of uh, fruit trees over here. I'm not sure if they're apple. There's an apple and a pear, I think. And I haven't, uh, a couple of springs I've seen fruit. There you go, look at there's some fruit over there but I've never seen any fruit in the in the fall so I don't know what's happened with it but um, and I was told before that you're not supposed to prune a fruit tree but the tree wasn't doing well and I couldn't get under it because the branches were all the way down here so I trimmed up this tree and this fruit tree over here like I say one's a pear and one's an apple kind of cleaned up all all around the trees Kind of got into the property a little bit over there. My property goes back, our property goes back to another probably 30 feet there at least. This whole, this whole line here, the, the growth was coming way out to here and the branches were sticking way down all the way out to probably here. So if you're trying to come through here with a, a rope, a mower, here there's a couple that are still over there, a little bit hanging. But uh, you know, this was just a last minute thing to try to think, well, make this a little bit better. So now, kind of there's a bunch of garbage over here from some previous owners or something it's probably been there for years I'll get rid of that one day but I'm trying to cut into it all here's some tires and some other stuff I kind of grouped it together because I found a few of them here's a pile of fieldstone rock that I uh, from what I took out of the house and stuff but it's pretty nice rock and I thought I might as well put it somewhere and that's the place I chose. So there's property line here. All this area over here, all these trees are all trimmed up. And the Hugo culture garden. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about the Hugo culture garden, but That'll be another day, another topic. But look at this. Now these are a little bit low also, but you know, golly gee, there's so many branches to trim. And uh, and you know, this was above and beyond. And so, and I guess if Ann's here and it's bothering her, she can get her loppers out. And, uh, and uh, look at this over here, isn't this beautiful? Huh, look at that section of woods so from this spot here there's the house there's a spot that's all fertile it could be used for growing there's a hugo culture that big mound that looks like dirt there's my sister <laughs> okay let's keep going this way oh yeah there's my dog over there too I own probably to those big trees over there. So I got a little bit of woods over that way. It's wider up at that end. Wow, 
once again. Pretty nice, huh? Ann and I, we cleaned out all this stuff over here. Everything in here. And there was a whole bunch of garbage, like that pile of garbage that's over there. There was a pile over here and got rid of all that. Look at this nice edge over here. So basically, the only thing that's kind of out of place is this little group of trees over here. But I figure I can cut them down anytime. The canopy, you know, the low, the, the lowest hanging. Look at there. Look at look at that. It's like you get in here with a mower, no problem. And oh, this is nice. I've, I I kind of went, you know, got back as far as I could. Got all the vines out of the trees that you know from where we were dealing with. Okay, I guess I could have done a little better job over here with the bush hog, but I can, that's easy enough. I guess I didn't do back here. See this, this little bit of growth here. But we cut all the branches here. Look at all the, there's a tree I caught there. Look at the, the branches that came off of here, the stuff over here. I mean, these things are, they were like encroaching. Then I went and got ambitious. This used to end like right here right here there was like kind of woods and kind of thick and st not really thick there was a little path there was a little path here but over there you know there's a lot of scrub and like there are trees and branches and stuff but uh this was all filled with vines and uh kind of that's that's the uh well i'll give a better shot of it later but this is all you see what this looks like over here uh that's what this looked like over here Okay, and all through here. So this area now has gotten left a, some nice trees. Okay, and there's still a lot of work. And I just it looked it, it looked like this over here. So I just kind of came through here, and we cut out a whole bunch of a whole bunch of trees. I don't know where they all are, but. Uh, drove through a few different directions with the with the bush hog went through over there you know that's that's the neighbor um the the previous owner's son that's his property over there so here look at the look at the vines and stuff over here that's what we're dealing with it looked like this and you know i just can't do it all right now on this trip and the reason i kind of stopped here is there's a big mound of something i'm not sure what it is if it's dirt or if it's bedrock from drilling a well or i don't really know then there's this pile of, of rotting wood here so look at look at this stuff i've taken down though over there and look at these vines oh man they, they rip you up yeah let me see your arms yeah look at ann's arms you know her legs you know <laughs> really uh they really rip you up look at these things oh man they were everywhere but uh look, look at what i cut off with this was all intertwined grown with with vines and everything and oh my gosh and there's i can't even you know it looked w as bad or worse than that you know that's what it looked like but now we got a jump start on this piece because as i mentioned we used to be way out over here and you couldn't do anything and i got rid of some of the trees that were out in this area because they weren't worth keeping and cleaned up and now we're kind of gaining a little bit more property this way okay just kind of getting it started so that maybe another trip can deal with it look i've come through here a little bit you know but there's that neighbor again that his name's Mike. I haven't met him yet. But uh, there was another tree I took down. It was a nice tree and I had it. It was over here. But the thing is that there was no room for it. And, it, you know, I've got this big mess over here with these five trees that are eight, seven, six trees that have grown together. And, uh, but that's it. Then we've got this, this pile of wood over here or whatever's in here. 
that has been sitting here for God knows how long. See, it looks like fence posts and there's probably wire wrapped around them. And uh, see, and then there's these uh, raspberries or some kind of berries that are growing there. And I'm told they got chiggers. That's what you get from, look at all this wood over here. Big mess, I gotta clean this up somehow, figure out, maybe figure, talk to somebody and find out the best way to burn it under control. Maybe get the fire department to come down here and do it as an ex exercise or something. But uh, anyhow, so I got over here and I mowed through here, but we're gonna try to kill all this growth down and then, uh, and then figure out what's underneath it so we can clean it. Got this big green thing and really likes it. I wasn't real partial to it, but it looks nice, I guess. That's a good one. This one doesn't look as healthy as that one looks. Boy, it'll look, wait till the grass gets cut. This is going to be like super beautiful. Um, look over here. Look at all those trees. Okay. So we'll keep coming up this way. There's the house again. Here's a garage that I, it was a dilapidated old shed that the floor was all rotten and uh, was a tear down but I decided to save it. It's a beautiful garage. Neighbor's fence over here. All this, this stuff here, that's uh, bedrock that came out of the well when they drilled it. There's the well in here. That sucker is uh, 645 feet deep. There's the garage. There's the old well house over there. Look at these vines. Look at them. Once they come in, boy, they're and they, they they're terrible in the trees. Got to get got to get them under control. More of them over here. See these vines in? I suggest you just cut them up as high as you can reach and cut them off at the ground. Yeah. Good idea. Here's a pecan tree that I still have. I cut one down. That was in the front yard. We saved the smaller logs. I'm trying to figure out how to move this or what I want to even do with it. The drain is really pretty nice. Of course, it's all splitting and cracking. I cut a few slabs. Look at that, the bark. Look at the bark falling off. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, that's the deal with that. I don't know. Um, it sure looked nice when it was cut, but now see it because it's sitting out here in the sun. It's all checking and stuff. I imagine there's, I know nothing about the, um, the wood. This tree here, hey, the top came off. Look at that. It didn't it? I think it did. This thing was way taller than that. Where did it, where is it? Where did it go? Wow. I don't, I don't, buddy Ann, that, that sucker was huge. Where did it go? They must have picked it up. It maybe it fell in the road. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I wanted that thing down. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I got to go talk to Ralph about that. So anyway, um, trimmed up these, uh, these uh, uh, I don't know the name of them. But they got them going up and down the driveway. There's one over there. Let's go a little low. I left it purposely for Ann. So, all right. Well, I'm sorry if I'm turning around and if I'm a bad camera person or any of that stuff, but this is where we started and this is where we're going to end. Bye-bye.